Hi folks, today we're going to have a look at the wave question from the National Five Physics paper in 2017. So, question four. A student observes water waves entering a harbour. To determine the frequency of the waves, the student measures the time taken for a wave to pass a point at the harbour entrance. The student measured this time to be 2.5 seconds. Calculate the frequency of the waves. Well, here, the student has measured the time it takes for one wave to pass a point. That time is the period of the waves. And we have a formula with period equals one divided by frequency. So we can put that number into our formula, rearrange it, and get a value for the frequency to be 0 0.4 hertz. Part two. Suggest how the accuracy of the frequency determined by the student could be improved. Well, here, the student has tried to measure the time for one wave, which was 2.5 seconds. That's a relatively short time, and the student's reaction times are likely to be a reasonable proportion of that time that they measured. To make their reaction time a smaller, a smaller part of the overall measurement, they should try and measure a longer time. So the easiest thing to do would be to measure how long it takes for a number of waves to pass a point, for example, 10 waves, and then divide that time by 10 in this case. And that would give you a much more accurate number. Another way to do it would be to time how many waves uh, pass the point in a particular period of time, for example, one minute. And then you could divide the number of waves by, um, or divide 60 seconds by the number of waves to find out the time for one wave. Part B. The distance between one wave crest and the next crest is eight meters. Calculate the velocity of the waves. So we've already got from the previous question the frequency. The distance from one crest to the next is the wavelength. So we can use our formula V equals F lambda, so speed equals frequency times wavelength to find the speed or the velocity. So our frequency, 0 0.4 times 8 meters, gives us 3.2 meters per second. Waves travel towards the entrance of the harbour as shown. Complete the diagram to show the pattern of wave crests inside the harbour. So we can see in the diagram that the waves are passing through a gap formed by the two parts of the harbour wall. So when waves travel through a gap, we get this sort of effect called diffraction, where the waves passing through the gap are blocked by the barrier on either side. So the part of the wave that passes the gap remains straight, but the part that's blocked on the other side will start to curve around and fill in the blank in behind. So what we need to draw is something that looks a little bit like this. There are three things we need to be aware of here. Firstly, the waves in the middle, the middle section that pass straight through the gap, they remain straight. The bits on either side, they curve around. The wavelength of the wave, though, remains unchanged. So we should be able to draw it with a consistent distance between each of the waves. Part D. As the waves pass into the harbour, the student observes that the amplitude of the waves decreases. Explain this observation. Well, the amplitude of the waves is what carries the energy. So a decrease in the amplitude of the wave indicates the wave has lost energy. And that, folks, is the end of the waves question from the 2017 National Five paper. I hope that was useful, and I hope you come back and find out some more another time.